David Mays has built a weaponized drone to defend himself against threats so he can survey the damage of his 500 home subdivision after a new Madrid earthquake. And once he has ingested intel from his post-quake recon missions, he plans to send help to those in need. After an earthquake, people are gonna need medical supplies. I wanted to be able to provide some of those services to my neighbors. So David and his wife, Holly, are creating a medical kit modeled after the Army's IFAC, or Improved First Aid Kit. Issued to every soldier, it is designed to increase survival rate by focusing on only the most common battlefield injuries. But the IFAC weighs one pound, and David's kit needs to be light enough to be drone lifted. We've got to pare all this down to have a kit that weighs about five ounces. So normal first aid, you have to include things like gloves, um, scissors, gauze, um, bandage, but they also include a suture kit. How much does that weigh? It weighs too much. Oh. They're going to have to have a way to sterilize, uh, which means fire. Um, so we need right. to send a fire starter with it. All right, so wound care, you're going to need several different oils. But we don't typically utilize the standard Western medicine uh, that most do. Instead, we've we provide uh, essential oils because they don't expire and they tend to work faster. So you're gonna need uh, melaleuca to help right. cleanse the wound. Uh, clove oil, it'll numb around the, the, the incision. Frankincense helps promote tissue healing. And lavender for so. calming. Yeah, let's bag all this stuff up okay. and, and then we'll see how much it weighs. Uh, gloves. Uh, gloves, that's a good thing. Oh yeah, we're still at only 3.2. Okay. So we've got a couple more ounces. All right, well, gauze and bandage. 